<laughs> All right, y'all. There's a scientific discovery that we just have to go over. It's so silly. It's about the new color called Olo. And scientists have just discovered it. And there's not much to it other than that. But we're going to talk about it because people on the internet just... Listen, I love scientists. But this is some crazy, crazy stuff. It's it's the tech stuff we want and the... and. Also, stuff, I I don't know, you guys just need to see it because I I think you guys are going to laugh. So, basically, they say they discovered a new color, an unprecedented hue, only ever seen by five people. So, the color is called Olo, and it's described as an intense, saturated teal, but it's like a more... I don't think they know what color teal is, because teal is like kind of dark. And the reason why only five people can see it is because they had to have a laser beam pointed at their eyeball. And then they need to use a color dial and move it around until they got to the new color. Now, the five people that experienced what the scientists had to say are the people that called it Olo. Because Olo has something that is like a thing with the eyes. That's like a term. And they called it a blue-green of unprecedented unprecedented saturation and it was published in a paper last week now i'm gonna show i'm I'm gonna give you guys the uh, well we won't be able to see the whole thing no we won't be able to see the whole thing but i'll give you guys the the link and you guys can go look over it but we're gonna look at the we're gonna look at the we're gonna look at the fucking color right now all right do you guys see this see this right here this is the this is the color guys this is the shade and it says that this this is This is motherfucking cyan. Leaning towards a little bit more green, but it's still cyan. Like hot sea foam. Let's say you go your whole life and you only see pink, baby pink, and pastel pink. And then one day you go to the office and someone's wearing a shirt and it's the most intense baby pink you ever see and they say it's a new color and we call it red. But that's not... The thing is, is like, if only the freaking one, that one shrimp can see it. Like, does it even count as a new color? We can't paint with it. We can't use it. It can't be put on monitors. It can't be shown on phones. You need a special laser to see it. Like, who's gonna- who's gonna be using- nobody. You can't even mix it as a color. It's just gonna be fucking cyan, my guy. It's just cyan. It's cyan. It's not new color. It's cyan, but with lasers. I just- I fucking can't- I fucking can't. Sometimes, science is so smart. And so stupid. Can you imagine being in the fucking room with these people? And then it's like <laughs> you know that moment, that song in fucking Interstellar where it's the 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 TikTok sound, and then all of a sudden it's the the big the big you know the 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 accordion, not the accordion, the you know the big church noises, and then and then they see the new color like arrive, like how they looked at the black hole. In interstellar i i imagine that's what they they saw like if five people saw it did anyone even see it it's like fucking aliens and shit like even the scientists in the fucking room didn't see it only five people who twisted a dial saw it oh my god yes the cops are coming after me again <sighs> ice sent them they're on their way i'm not illegal so it says here i'm gonna get rid of this So it says here that it's a fascinating study, a truly groundbreaking advance in the ability to understand the photoreceptor mechanism. Oh my god, they are coming for me. The photoreceptor mechanisms underlying color vision, the technical demands necessary to achieve this are enormous. Oh, this can be like Cyberpunk 2077. Listen, y'all, when it's Cyberpunk time, we're going to switch on our eyeballs so we can see this damn color. Because everyone's going to be jealous that five people back in 2025 saw it. We can't let those people in 2025 see Olo. We want to see it now. I don't know what the point of this is. An open question about how this advance can be used. Some researchers say the work could have medical applications. Oh, they're talking about putting lasers in people's eyes so they can see. And I love this part because I know this, this, this girl here. Carissa Wong, she knew people were going to be like, the fuck is this shit? And she goes, the results aren't just kind of fun, but they also enable people with red-green color blindness to experience typical vision. Listen, 
I, you know, you know, someone came up to her and was like, dude, did you just put a laser in someone's eye and they saw a new color? Like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's like, listen, we can use this to help people who have color blindness. And we're like, mm -hmm. and you can, I, I can't see the person, but I can imagine them going, mm hmm, is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Listen, I, I know that some of you guys haven't, some of you guys aren't in STEM fields and haven't met people who work with other scientists, but sometimes you question what they're doing and what they're getting paid to do. And they're like, listen, it's for science. It's that vibe. Like, they don't say it's for science. But you feel like they're a little bit bullshit sometimes. <laughs> and this feels a little bit bullshit. Like, they have literally no idea what the point of this is. Like, there's no... Like, saying that it might have some useness in the future is great. It could enable, but that doesn't mean it will enable. And it says here, Not everyone is convinced that Olo is truly a new color. However, John Burr, a vision researcher at the University of London, tells The Guardian that the work has limited value. Which is unfortunate, because people just want to play with lasers and shit and put them in eyeballs. Unfortunately, most people aren't likely to experience Olo for now. They can only be seen during the Oz layer technology in a specific lab. This is basic science. We're not going to see Olo on any smart displays or TVs anytime soon. This is very far, far beyond VR technology. See, listen... Hold on, let me go find the name of that shrimp. Alright, the mantis shrimp. If y'all ain't the mantis shrimp, you're not seeing that shit. Only the mantis shrimp gets the privilege. Imagine, imagine being as privileged as the mantis shrimp right now. Do you think the mantis shrimp is thinking, you know what? These human motherfuckers can finally see that color? Damn, I've been seeing it for like a millennia. You guys gotta get up with the times. Alright, oh, I'm sorry. This is just, like, I know this is just a little bit, little bit funny to me. I thought you guys were just in love. This is, it's not AI bros, but it is, it, it is a little bit funny. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, join my Patreon, damn it. I got, I got stuff on there to look at. And if you want to support the channel. Also, you can buy my commissions over on VGen because I'm trying to get verified over there. Damn it. Also, this video is completely unscripted. I was just reading the article and giving my feedback because I'm not going to write a script for something that's damn silly. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe or else or else. All right. Catch you later.